Welcome to another powerful show of prophetic revelation and insight. Straight Talk with Wayne, your daily source of prophetic revelation, prayer, and the Christian news that you need. As part of thesecondadam.com, Pastor Wayne invites you to listen, enjoy, and share these anointed messages of hope and glory. God always empowers us, transforms us, changes us through love. See, many of us were taught that God would love us if we changed our behavior, if we became this great moral person. I grew up believing that if I didn't smoke cigarettes, I didn't smoke marijuana, I didn't have a drink, I didn't say a curse word, I didn't look at a woman as unto lust. Uh, This whole moral guideline the do's and the do nots. You do go to church. You don't go to a movie theater. You do go to Bible study. You don't go to a nightclub. I had all these moral do's and don'ts and truly believed that if I followed them, then God would love me. I remember as a child, I had a red little New Testament, the Gideons. Remember the Gideons would go past us out. And I remember telling my cousin, I was running, we were running around playing, but I held that Bible and I said, if there was just a list of do's and don'ts, because I was trying to read and I didn't understand the Gospels, I didn't understand the, the, the epistles that Paul was writing. I was, I was probably 10 years old, 9 years old. But I knew I wanted to please God. But it was the do's and the do nots that I was looking for, because then I could put it into a system. Does that make sense? And I don't think we really change that much as adults. But I want to give you this thought process. Yes, we should make good decisions. But transformation is internal. Transformation begins within 2 Corinthians 3.18. And God loves us so that we can transform. He loves us so we can change. I want you to grab a hold of this. God loves us. As you, he loves you as you are. But through that love, through that love, through the beholding, who do we behold? We behold that which we love. Second Corinthians 3, 18 says, Beholding Christ. Amen. The Spirit transformed us. The Spirit will transform us into the image of Jesus. Simply having a code of morality leads us back to looking at ourselves instead of looking at the Savior. You're never holy enough. You're never pure enough. You're never refined enough. You'll never love other people enough to earn salvation. But when we fall into the love of God, when we follow the love of God, when you say, Lord, love me today, in my failure, Transform me today in my weakness. Lord, I surrender. It's a surrender. And hear me on this. Many times for me it's a daily surrender. Sometimes it's an hourly surrender. Lord, the flesh does not agree with the Spirit. The Spirit is what I'm walking into the kingdom with. Amen? Guys, I want to just honor you all. I want to take a moment today. Just talk about the love of God, the transformative love of God. God entices us. He changes us through love. Amen. Jump over to thesecondadam.com. Be sure to check out our articles. Let us pray with you. Click on the prayer site. Let us pray with you. As of this recording, we had one person came in, uh, another person came into our water to wine transformational coaching. So we're almost out of those slots. If you're thinking about it, just go to the partnership page, look at the water to wine, connect with us. I look forward to hearing from you. This is Pastor Wayne. Make it a great day. Go out there, change the world, be the world changer by letting the Lord transform you. I believe in you because I believe in the Jesus Christ within you. Make it a great day. God bless. 
Thanks for joining us for Straight Talk with Wayne. Do you need prayer, counseling, or personal prophetic ministry? Then go to thesecondadam.com for more information. Be sure to sign up at yourprophecynews.com for the latest updates, free resources, and prophetic news. God bless.